Aurelis Action is a game and screen recorder that offers the lowest megabytes per frame, the lowest computer resource usage, and the highest FPS recording. Check the link in the video description to learn more. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Terra math video. I am Silfen. I'm very proud to be able to bring you back the quality of math content uh, you've come to know. So this is Silfen 1.0 old legacy style math video i am really excited to bring this to you so here let's dive right into it no tldr well fine tldr here you go um a two to one ratio of attack speed to power provides terra the most dps when looking at individual damage types terra prefers the respective armor over health if you just care about one type of damage Go all in armor, baby. When combining incoming damage types, though, because health affects both equally, early game health, mid game combination of e of health and armor, and that's actual equal uh, combination of health and armor, and late game armor, not necessarily health, are what Terra prefers. Early game health through vitality is an easy way to provide. To make Terra the most tanky while also providing sustain. As higher cost armor cards come online, Terra can curve into optimal tank quite easily, and combining Terra's shields and damage mitigation with armor provides Terra the opportunity to be the tankiest hero in the game, period. That's the uh, TLDR. Really quite simple. You guys can run away with that. The issue with Monolith and the new itemization system is that it's harder to kind of make sure those numbers line up in game. So you have to be really watching your stat sheet as you purchase, uh, you know, agility and vitality. As you purchase things, it, it, it's just harder to do. Before in Legacy and the old itemization system, you could, you, you literally had complete access to to that and you could tweak it exactly it's just harder here in the new system to make sure that your numbers are perfect it just takes a little more time for you to, to nail that down so guys here is just the stat sheet that the math uh, ac accesses all the time she hits hard that's her basic damage her cooldown is slower basic damage per level is pretty high hp is pretty good attack damage all this wonderful stuff now this is where it gets really quite interesting so this is optimal i have highlighted the optimal um effective h or the uh, this here is actually dps i've highlighted the optimal dps um at hero level 5 hero level 12 and hero level 20 with varying levels of attack speed and power so as you can see here in the early game uh terra likes likes some power and then kind of, and then attack speed. In the late game though, she really likes her attack speed. And then it's kind of like a one-to-one. -one. And when you kind of look at the average numbers here, it's looking like about a two-to-one ratio of attack speed to power, which you know what makes sense. She hits hard and she has a slow cooldown. It only makes sense. Plus she gets more damage the more she levels up. And the attack speed per level isn't too much. Uh, it's only 0 .5, 0 0.75. So she really likes her attack speed. If you care about DPS, it's really all about the attack speed for Terra. So two to one attack speed in, in, in the late game, even in the mid game, around here we're level 12. Really, that's kind of about it. Um, the only thing that you have to consider here is that, well, power, do, you know, power does feed into her abilities. She does have some nice abilities. She has two um, abilities that do deal, uh, you know, si an okay amount of damage. So if you care about the burst, obviously it's power, but as uh, you know, Terra's all about sustainability. I wouldn't care too much about that. I would rather care about sustained damage if I were to prioritize damage on Terra. This next one here is HP versus basic defense. How much attacks, how much health versus basic defense does Terra like when we're talking about optimal HP. So effective HP. What increases your effective HP the most? And here in the early game, you get some ar you, you, you get some armor, some, some basic armor. This is added basic armor on top of what she gets naturally through her heroes, uh, through her hero levels. And as you can see, some armor, 24 armor, that is actually pr pretty pretty good amount. Then it onto uh and then then onto kind of like a one-to-one -one sort of, you know, well not one-to-one, -one, but whatever that is 
five to one, whatever that, that ratio is, of uh, of health to armor. So then, then it goes down. As you start to increase in hero levels, though, she gets a lot of HP per per hero level. She gets a lot of HP. She has a, she has a good amount of HP. And as you can see, in terms of basic damage only, you're only taking basic damage in this imaginary scenario. She runs away with armor. 120 basic armor. I, th I think that's literally impossible. But uh, as you can see, the point is she loves armor. Plus the shields that she's going to get. I mean, she only makes armor more viable on her um, if, if, in that regard. So in terms of basic damage, she absolutely runs away with armor. If we go down here and take a look at ability defense, just ability armor, it's kind of the same story. It's kind of the same story. It, it, it is literally this exact same story here in the early game, in the mid game, in more armor, and in the late game, even more armor. Ability armor even more so because you don't get ability armor per hero level. So she really likes armor. Armor, 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 armor. Now, that isn't exactly the real world scenario. In the real world, you take both kinds of damage. You take some basic damage, you take some ability damage, and health affects your, your effective tankiness equally on both sides. So... We have to we, we have to assume something. How much of each type do we take? And in this case, I have assumed we take half basic damage and half ability damage. As Terra is a super tanky hero, you're going to be able, in my opinion, to stick around on the battlefield a lot. Meaning that initial burst of damage that usually happens, A, you can hopefully mitigate with your with, with your block, but even if you don't then that ability damage is large up front, but then basic damage takes over as more sustained damage sources like, like carries or just basic attack assassins or just more basic attacks come. Then I, I'm in this scenario, we are assuming half of all incoming damage is basic damage and half of all incoming damage is ability damage. Because she runs away with armor, we're assuming that you, uh, in order to deal effectively with that damage type, you're having half of this armor that's above here into the respective damage type. So this 40 armor, for example, right here, 20 of it is going to basic damage, uh, as it, sorry, into basic armor and 20 into ability armor. Does, does, that, does that make sense? So all of the armor t armor amounts you see up here, half of it's going to one type and half into the other. In the early game, if this is the if this is the case, then she runs away with health, and you know what? That's going to be that's going to be hands down the case for every hero. You have thirty ability armor right off the bat, um, and then you start getting some basic armor, you know, through hero levels, and everybody has basic armor to begin with. You start with armor and not necessarily a lot of health, so every single hero will run away with with health in the early game just because you start off with a good sizable amount of armor so that does not surprise me at all by hero level 12 though you need some armor you need some armor of both of both kinds added armor um, on top of hero levels in order to in, in order to then start building into hp in the late game by hero level 20 take a look at this 96 total armor again half going to a half of half of it going to each each damage type 40 whatever that is 48 um armor of each type which i think is not necessarily possible but i mean it is trying to exactly itemize all of that's going to be really tough and that's really kind of up to uh up to you to, to to try to do she runs away with it so essentially she likes armor Guys, the 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 moral of the story is she likes armor. Of course, she likes health, but you're gonna get that health anyways with vitality and stuff like that. So, in terms of itemization, armor, 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 armor. So, what are some factual statements we can make then about Terra? A two to one ratio of attack speed to power provides Terra the most DPS, and you know what? That makes sense. She hits hard. She has a slow attack speed. And she gets not very much attack speed along the way to hero level 20. So, because she's she'll be able to stick in the fight a ton, 
attack speed makes a lot of sense on Terra. When looking at individual damage types, Terra prefers the respective armor over health, which makes sense. And when combining incoming damage types, early game health, mid game equal combination of health and armor, and late game armor only are what Terra prefers when it comes to getting maximum effective HP. And you know what, that makes sense. Plus she has shields. She has shields which affect, which are benefited from armor and not health. So you know what, armor all the way on Terra. And you know what, there's some really, 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 really good um, options out there that give just armor and power so that she can, she, she, she could do a lot. I'm thinking like unstable cyborg. I'm thinking thorned Yomi. I'm thinking arcane dancer. It has power and health, not necessarily armor, but that ability damage mitigation, you use her ultimate and then you use arcane dancer afterwards. Plus, people are hitting you with Unstable Cyborg, plus Thorned Yomi after that. Like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Terra has some insane options out there, um, you know, that are going to work really well for her. What are some conclusions then? Early game health through Vitality is an, is an easy way to make Terra tanky while also providing sustain. I mean, you get health regen, she'll be able to block a bit, uh, damage instances, and she'll really, really benefit from that. Get a few tanky cards or sustain uh, regen cards, and she'll just absolutely run away. As higher cost armor cards come online, Terra can curve into optimal tank quite, quite easily. As you get the economy, you can get those armor cards. Because you have that economy, you're probably higher hero level, which is what she needs in order to get the tank, blah, 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 blah. Perfect. It, it, it really looks good for Terra. And combining Terra's shields and damage mitigation with armor provides Terra the opportunity to be the tankiest hero in the game. I mean, I didn't provide any evidence for that. But I think it's pretty clear, pretty, pretty obvious that she can be the tankiest hero in the game. Severog may be the most sustained tank, if you, if, if you know what I mean. Like, just take, like, the amount of time to just take to completely take him down. Shh. Steel maybe the most like burst tank, you know, like throw a whole bunch of abilities at steel and nothing happens. Uh, Terra though, I think she is generally overall going to be probably the tankiest hero in the game. So there you guys go. What do you guys think of the Terra math? Um, I'm really happy to bring this to you. I've This is actually a framework that I'll be able to do with every single new hero coming up. Maybe some heroes that are already here. So let me know if you guys like this, if you like the old style math that I'm really excited to, to, to bring with you. Are there any other heroes you want me to do this to? What are you thinking? Please let me know down in the comments. Amazon is the tried and true way of shopping for anything you need or want at the lowest prices. Support the channel at no cost to you by doing your Amazon shopping through the link in the video description. Please like this video if you like it, to say it, dislike it, share it, the community, of course, guys, subscribe if you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. Uh, check the video description for links to my website, merchandise store, and Amazon affiliate link as well as all my social media. You can check it out right here. Patreons, thank you so much, my, my YouTube sponsors and uh, Twitch subscribers for going out of the way to make all these videos possible really does mean the world to me. Till next time, like always guys, stay optimistic and positive.